Hello, I'm Joe with Amazon Chime. Today I'd like to show you how to set up your Amazon Chime console, allowing you to create a team or enterprise account for your organization. Amazon Chime is part of the many services that AWS offers. Because of this, to administer your Amazon Chime account, you first must have an AWS account. Let's get started there. First open your web browser, click on the address bar, and type in AWS dot amazon dot com and hit enter next locate the orange button in the top right hand corner labeled create an AWS account and click there here is where you'll enter your email address choose a password and create your AWS account name typically the AWS account name is your company name once complete Click continue. The next page is where you'll enter your contact information. First choose an account type. The options are professional or personal. Next enter your name, company name, phone number, and address. Read the AWS customer agreement, click the checkbox, and then click create account and continue. The next step is to enter your payment information. This requires a credit or debit card. This form of payment will be used for any AWS services you utilize, including Amazon Chime. Next, we'll confirm your identity. There are two ways to accomplish this, either via text message or voice call. You'll also be asked to complete the security check. Enter the letters and numbers as shown on your screen. In this case, we'll use SMS. Enter the verification code that arrives via text message on your phone. Click verify code and if you've entered it correctly, your identity has been verified successfully. You can now click continue. After verification, you'll be asked to choose a support plan. AWS offers several different support plans depending on your workloads and requirements. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll choose the free basic plan. Your account has now been set up successfully. Our next step is to log into the console. To do that, I'll click the button, sign in to the console. Enter the email address that you use to create your AWS account. Next, enter the password you used. Click sign in. You are now logged into the AWS management console. The console allows you to access the AWS services available in your particular region. The next thing we'd like to do is create an IAM role. Let's type IAM in the search bar here and click on the IAM result. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. IAM allows you to create users and roles with only the access that they need to perform their job. AWS best practice is to lock away your root account credentials where possible and also activate multi-factor authentication. What we'll do now is create an IAM user to administer your Amazon Chime account. Click on Users on the left. Next, click on Add User. Type a username here. Today we'll use Paula. You can choose if you'd like to provide programmatic access, console access, or both. Generally, to administer Chime, you'll just need console access. Next, we'll create the password for this IAM user. You can choose an auto-generated password or create a custom password. You can also require that the password be reset upon first login. Since it's just me logging in today for demonstration, I'll uncheck this box. Let's move to permissions. Permissions can be attached to a user to allow or deny granular access to services within AWS. In this case, let's click on attach existing policies directly so that we can set up our user Paula to administer Amazon Chime. In the search box that appears, type the word Chime. The results are Amazon Chime Full Access, Amazon Chime Read Only Access, and Amazon Chime User Management. We'll choose Full Access for our administrator. Next, click Tags. Adding tags is an optional step. However, it can be extremely helpful, 
especially when you have lots of accounts or IAM users. Next, let's review. Take a look at the information you entered and make sure it's correct. And when you feel comfortable, click Create User. We've now successfully created our IAM user, Paula, who has access to administer our Amazon Chime account. Be sure to copy the link in the green success dialog box above. We'll need that link in a moment when we log into this IAM user. Click close, then click your account name at the top right and choose sign out. Next, open a new tab and paste the link that we copied from the success dialog box. Then hit enter. You'll see that your account ID is automatically populated. Enter your IAM username, in this case Paula, and the password you created. Click sign in. You are now logged in as your IAM user and can begin to administer Amazon Chime. Click on services in the top left and type in Chime in the search bar. Click on Amazon Chime. You're now in the Amazon Chime console. The console allows you to add users, suspend users, adjust permissions, and also review meeting statistics. Let's start by clicking New Account. This is where you'll enter your account name, typically your company's name. Click Create Account. Your new account is now created. As you can see, your account type is Team. There are two types of accounts, Team and Enterprise. We'll get to that in a moment. For now, let's click on our account name. Since we haven't added any users yet, you'll see the list is blank. If we'd like to begin adding users, we can click on the Invite Users button in the top right of the screen. You can now invite your team members by entering their email address here, separated by semicolon. When you're finished entering the list, click Invite Users. The second type of Amazon Chime account is called Enterprise. A team account becomes an enterprise account when your domain is claimed. By claiming a domain, any user at your company who logs in with an email address using your domain will automatically be added to your Chime account. To claim your domain, click on Domains on the left. Next, click on Claim a New Domain. You can type your domain here and click Verify this domain. To verify ownership of your domain, Amazon Chime provides a text record that will need to be added to the DNS server for your domain. Be sure to copy the name and value here exactly as you see it. The domain verification process could take up to 24 hours, but will usually happen sooner. As you can see, my domain is in the status of pending. Once verified, the word verified will appear under status. After the verification is complete, any user who creates a new Chime account using their company email with your domain will automatically be added here to the user list. Also, when the domain is claimed, the account automatically goes from a team to an enterprise account and the invite user button disappears. Any existing team users with your company email and domain will automatically get pulled over to your enterprise account upon domain claim. At this point, you have successfully set up your Amazon Chime account. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Amazon Chime team. Thank you.